Get ready for a lengthy video. Today we are reviewing the Gilead Liquid 240. This is the cheapest 240 millimeter radiator based AIO that is featuring a temperature display on the pump. And speaking of how cheap it is, this one is only $80. Hey guys, welcome back to Harvest Sense channel. My name is Ivan. And like I mentioned in the preview, we're going to do a lengthy review of this Gilead Liquid 240. AIO. This one released earlier this year, but I finally managed to grab a unit and review it for you guys. And why I was so curious about this one, because there's so many different brands, almost every other brand that is producing some form of AIOs out there. They have models that feature a temperature indicator of some sort or display over their pump or somewhere else. But majority of these are very expensive. I'm talking about over 140, 150 uh, to 200 to over 200 dollars for 240 millimeter AIOs, and the 360s are even more expensive. I'm talking about EVGA, MSI, EK, NZXT, Corsair. Everybody out there has models like that, and I personally believe they should not be that expensive because this technology is not that new. The first units I think were released five, six years ago, and by now everything should have been trickled down, and units should be costing as much as this Gilead, which is again eighty dollars. This is exactly what I think is reasonable for two hundred and forty millimeter AIO to cost, featuring that temperature indicator. Now this is not a fancy display over here; it's only displaying the temperature. There's no animations. There's nothing like that. But for eighty dollars. I absolutely love it. And before I move into the unboxing, installation, results, testing, and all that stuff, what I'm going to use is right here. You guys see uh, this uh, old friend right here is the HP Omen 30L. And you guys have been probably asking, well, why are you bringing us back to this old stuff? You know what? People are still using that. And after using all the internal parts to build another computer, if you guys follow my channel, you see the previous videos before, I actually used some parts that I have and reuse this case for that specific computer right now. So this is a Frankenstein of a computer right here. Only the case, memory and power supply are from the Omen 30L. The motherboard is from the Lenovo uh, Legion T5, AMD based one. The GPU is EVGA RTX 2080 Super. The AIO here is 120, but it's not from the Omen. This is from the older Obelisk. Uh, I really like the red tubing. That's why I grabbed one of those brand new for like $30 or something like that. And I wanted to reuse it. But again, this case is not well engineered, despite the fact that it actually looks very good and nice and tidy. The space is not enough. We have only small exhaust fan. We have only one 120 pushing air inside. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna have a future video that I'm gonna fully modify this case to add another 120 millimeter fan in the front. This is gonna require a lot of cutting. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for this one. But now I'm gonna transfer all the internals that I've already placed here. I've run some tests. I'm gonna show you the results of the temperatures of the CPU and the GPU here, of course, with the case open, so we can make a more relevant comparison with the case open with the 120 here and with the case open of the new one with the 240 of the Gilead. And what I'm gonna use is a new case. This is the Montac Air 100 ARGB. One of the best, if not the best value for money for under $60, you're getting a great case with tempered glass with four included fans that are ARGB, with an abundance of space and a lot better ventilation, hopefully compared to this one. Obviously we have an option to install the 240 here, which this one will be going uh, there as well. Uh, as a CPU, I have Ryzen 5 5600, nothing incredible, but still with the 120 over here, the temperature is not anything amazing. And I think it could be a lot lower after we install the Gallid Liquid 240. So. Without further ado, let me go in straight into the unboxing. It will be a quick unboxing and have the contents. I'm going to do a quick installation as well. I don't wanna spend a lot of time showing you how it's installed. Obviously, if you follow the instructions of the box inside, you're gonna see how the installation is. I'm more interested to see the results and what kind of temperature differences we're gonna get with the 240 compared to the 120 from the Omen or the obelisk actually made by cooler master not a bad unit but just the way it's installed here with a lot of obstruction and the small case it doesn't perform to the maximum possible potential but trust me i'm going to be reusing this one in some other builds in the future that i'm going to show you as well but that's how i roll if you guys have been with the channel you know i reuse a lot of parts 
and I kind of create stuff that is serviceable and people that are on a lower budget, you don't want to spend thousands and thousands of dollars. You can still enjoy some competitive gaming because the upgrade here cost me what, $60? or less than $60 actually I think $56 I paid for the Montag Air 100 and $80 for the Gilead Liquid 240 so we're looking at the $140 upgrade from this case with all the internals inside to a new one so yeah let me go ahead uh, and go straight in of course we're going to show the results at the end we're going to talk about it in the conclusion so be patient and grab yourself some snacks and drinks and stay tuned uh, what's inside the box we're going to find out in a second before we open the box, let's see uh, what's on top. Obviously nice and very good retail box with uh, images of the product exactly how it's gonna look. Uh, the pump, the 240 AIO and everything else. On the side, we see some more things. What's compatible with high quality sleeve tubing, extreme cooling performance, temperature display, premium class radiator, infinite mirror, and the fans are going from 750 RPMs to 1800. Noiseless motor. I don't know how noiseless it is, we're gonna find out. And AM5 compatible. And if we look at it on the back side, there's some more data here. The, the fans are pushing 61.9, three pin RGB connector, hydrodynamic bearing, uh, all that stuff is outlined here. The TDP maximum is marked as 240 watts. Uh, interesting because I have some tower coolers that are more than that, 260, 265. So I don't know why they're undercutting themselves or maybe they're just being fair. We have included the GC4 cutting edge thermal compound. Well, if you know Gillette, you know they had some very good thermal paste in the past. Probably the most famous one is the Diamond IC that we used to have and I use many, many times. And nicely outlined, we have the back brackets for everything and they're labeled, which is great to see. Here's the thermal paste right here, the GC4. We have extension cables for the fans, four pin uh, extension cable. So the two fans are going in and this one goes into your motherboard or a fan controller if you have. And this is the power uh, right here, SATA to the three pin for ARGB. In the other little bag, we have all the parts we need for the different sockets and uh, all the screws and everything else so we have everything labeled nicely uh, for am5 we have the gelid gc4 with a little spreader more screws for lg uh, 2011 universal screw kit right here some more brackets for the bracket well, it says bracket kit i'm assuming for amd and we have the radiator screws right here for mounting and this is the back plate with some uh, 3m isolator if you would like you can stick it i never stick those to the back of my uh, motherboard i keep them the way they are uh, just enough so i can mount it so because you never know when i'm gonna have to uh, disassemble it and this is all plastic by the way this is not metal but it's a high quality abs plastic also we have the two fans right here rgb we have nice and in english user manual how everything needs to be done uh, we'll, obviously we're gonna follow that to see how quick the installation is the two fans are, are here and uh, let's see what's on the back of them a little bit of a kind of a mirror finish here on top of the fans super quiet i can barely hear this fan spinning rubber isolators and the four pin for power and we have the argb connector here 1800 maximum gallet solutions so again considering this is the cheapest 240 millimeter radiator uh, all in one liquid cooler that is featuring a temperature display on the pump or anywhere $80 I think most other companies will set you back at least 120 130 or even more and here's our radiator right here nothing special just a regular thickness on the radiator we have braided tubes which is good to see so here's the thickness of the pump uh, quite high extending and we have the mirror finish right here uh, the temperature display will be right in the middle uh, after we install it, we're gonna see there is no pre-applied thermal paste. Uh, so that's why they're giving you the uh, GC4. And let's see how shiny this is. Not quite a mirror finish on the copper base. Could have been smoother, but uh, maybe that doesn't matter that much. I'm gonna put the sticker back on for now. The tubes are fairly free ro rotating on different angles. Maybe that's gonna be beneficial. You're gonna see uh, how it looks. When it comes to cables, what we have coming out of the pump, and again, is the ARGB because we have ARGB on the pump as well. And the power is three pin. So this is gonna connect straight into your motherboard. Or if you prefer, like myself, sometimes I'll have SATA to fan connector. That way I am 100% sure that 
12 volts are going straight into the pump and I'm not limiting myself. So yeah, pretty simple. Again, for $80, I'm not ex I was not expecting anything amazing, but this Gellet solution is the cheapest that is offering a temperature display, a real-time temperature display on the pump uh, for this kind of money. We have a little branding here, Gellet Solutions. So yeah, this is for the unboxing. We're gonna go ahead and install it on my uh, computer and uh, we're gonna see what kind of results we're gonna have compared with the 120, uh, obviously. Hopefully it's better and the processor is actually not that much demanding when it comes to heat and heat dissipation. Uh, so hopefully this one is going to be perfect solution for that exact situation. And we're going to see what kind of results we're going to get. So here we are back with everything installed. Follow some of the process. Obviously I didn't show too many details. It would have taken too long uh, to go through the installation. But if you follow the manual inside the box of the Gillette Liquid 240, uh, the installation takes uh, about 30 minutes. The majority of the time for me took to migrate all the internals from the old Omen 30L to this uh, Montec Air 100 ARGB case. Uh, and the only negative here is obviously with the Lenovo motherboard, I cannot really control the ARGB. Uh, or the RPMs of the fans, but luckily uh, the Air 100 has a button right here and uh, all the fans and the fans from the Gillette plus the pump go in the same exact ARGB controller and from the top I can just easily change the colors and cycle them through. So that's not that great of a deal. The only issue is the RPMs you can't really control uh, and maybe in the future I will think about replacing this motherboard. At the moment it's doing a good job but I want to have a little bit more control especially for the fans. Um, but maybe instead of replacing the motherboard I will add a fan controller and that way I can channel all the fans together and control them this way. Lower the RPMs because right now they're operating at their maximum which obviously keeps everything cooler but the noise is a little bit higher and that way the comfort uh, can be a little bit better. Now, uh, one negative I can mention about the Gellet is the display over here. And this is the temperature of the liquid inside. You have no way to control what is displayed over there on the pump. Uh, there are no software to install and monitor and control. Maybe that's a plus, maybe that's a minus plus because you don't have to install anything extra that's going to bloat your computer and slow it down potentially. Uh, on the flip side, there's no control. You can't really see it in Windows desktop, what kind of temperature is there and, and kind of measure what's the difference between the liquid temperature that is showing over here and the actual temperature of the CPU if you're monitoring with other software. So take it the way it is. Is it positive? Is it negative? For me, it's slight negative because I would like to have a little more control. But at the same time, again, this Gillette is $80 when you have it on sale, probably under $80 as well. And you're having a nice ARGB fans, ARGB pump and temperature monitor display right on it. That way it provides you a little bit more information for a little amount of money compared to all the competitive uh, companies out there. And you will see some temperature comparison, this Ryzen 5 5600, how it performed before this upgrade with the 240 with the old Almond 30L and the 120 AIO by uh, Corsair that actually makes that one for HP. Obviously the difference is big. We have a 240 here versus 120. Even in an open case, the 240 performs much, much better. But in addition, it's much quieter, even at the highest RPMs, has a lot more options, the RGB, the temperature and all that stuff. So to me, that migration is definitely worth it. $60 for the case, $80 for the Gellet ARIO, and we're looking at $140 upgrade. Uh, and like I mentioned, I'm just gonna grab some fan controller, throw it in there, and I can lower the RPMs down, make it a little bit more manageable and more pleasant for the ear. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, what can I say? Gellet Liquid 240. For $80, I think this is a win. Uh, if you're looking for not spending too much money and you still like to have some extras like the RGB and the temperature monitor on the pump, uh, don't go out there and just grab Kraken or something like that for 150, 160. Spend half of the money, $80, grab the Gillette, throw it in there and still gonna perform nicely, especially with the lower tier to mid tier processors. Now, obviously I'm not gonna put this on, on super high end processors because they're producing a lot more heat. And in this case, better get something 360 or you know other cooling solutions that will give you better performance. But something like this, if you'd like to keep it on the budget, I definitely approve this one. And I, so far, I love majority of what I'm seeing and this computer is gonna remain in this state and i'll continue to play some games on it so yeah that's pretty much it guys hit the thumbs up if you like the video stay tuned to the channel subscribe if you're new 
Check out some of the other videos coming very, very soon. And as always, guys, you have a wonderful day.